All right, Mike, uh, so we are on the last leg of North American Indigenous Games. How do you think it's gone so far this week, and how do you think everybody's come together so far? You know what, this week has been an absolute success. Um, from seeing the successes and, and the accomplishments of our young people and what they've been able to do throughout this entire week, the number of medals that they've brought in, the experiences that they've had, it's written all over their face. You see the smiles, you see the enjoyment that they're having, and um, that in itself is a success. Coming into it, um, how do you think this all comes together as a, as a group for Saskatchewan? Well, you know, Saskatchewan always has high expectations. We have high standards. We've, we've, we've uh, had uh, Eugene and Lorna Arcan set a high standard for Saskatchewan in relation to what our accomplishments should be and, and where they need to be <clears throat> when, uh, when attending the games and, and performing. And that's something that's trickled down and has kind of been taught to, to this next group of people that are kind of taking on NAG and, 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 and trying to set a, continue that standard and continue that growth for our young people. So I, I really think that, that our development overall is continuing to improve. Our support systems are continually being enhanced and the number of youth that are trying out for NAG and are getting involved in the sporting system as a whole um, shows that what we're doing is right and that we're doing a good job of it. You know, need, needless to say, there's always improvements that need to happen and whatnot, but uh, we're on the right path, and that's the, that's the biggest the biggest part of it, right? We get a we get a lot of uh, feedback on um, how how Saskatchewan works, and uh, how do you think that um, not that we differ from other other provinces or you know the states or anybody, but how do you think that we do? What do we do different? Well, I think. Um, we start from the beginning with a team concept. And when I say you start from the beginning, I, I think a lot of times when we come in and get the first, uh, the, the steering committee together and, and all the other groups and all the, the, the moving parts as a whole, we do that as a group and we do that as a team. And I think that that shows the trickle effect happens all the way down to our actually competing teams, the athletes that are on these teams. So, so having that team concept you have a large group of people that have all participated in sports, so they have that, that team concept already down. And you don't have egos there, so it allows us to, to get work done that needs to just be done for the right reasons, and that's for the kids. And when you have people whose minds and hearts are in the right place, you can accomplish a lot of stuff, and it shows. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your time, and thank you for all the work that you've done for Team Saskatchewan. I, no, you know what, I appreciate it. I had such a blast um, for, for my first time stepping into um, an organizing role. I've been a part of, of coaching and, and coordinating and obviously playing as an athlete and whatnot. And, and this has just been an incredible opportunity and an even more incredible learning experience. And I'm very honored and fortunate to have been surrounded by such an incredible group of people to make it such a great time. Loved it. Thank you.